When I was on my mission, I thought, because I'm on my mission, I could go to BYU. Well, I found out I had a deaf companion by the name of Elder Gilliland. And I says, I want to go to BYU when I get back. He goes, well, what's your GP? I go, I don't know, probably like a, a C plus or a B minus or something like that. He goes, well, you got to have a better grade GPA than that to go to BYU. I'm like, well, I, why? I can, I'll just pay my fee and go down there. He goes, no, you got to be accepted. So it was kind of like, oh, shoot, I can't go to BYU. So whatever. When I came back, uh, I decided that I was going to go to college. Everyone told me to go to college. This is my story about Weber State College. So I get to Weber State College, and I'm kind of, it's weird because I'm used to going to high school. Nobody really knows you up there. I go to school. I go there I go there a lot to meet girls and to find a wife. But I get there, and I'm going to different school, different classes, and I can barely afford to go to Weber State University. I, I have to ride the bus back and forth. I ended up riding with a guy, one of my friends named Todd Erickson, a really nice young man, really good good person. He'd, he'd drive me up and back and forth to Weber State because he had a car. His dad had more money. I didn't have enough money to really afford gas for a car, so I had to take the bus. And so it was rough, and I had a horrible time uh, at Weber State University. I worked hard the best I could. I was a poor student at Weber High School. I cheated all the way through junior high, high school. Up until I was about a junior, at least in high school, I cheated uh, to get through it. I had a really hard time reading, things like that. I'm sure I was somehow uh, ADD or ADHD or dyslexic in some way, but I just had a hard time reading and comprehending. Well, anyway, I get to Weber State College. So this is my story about Weber State College. I get there and I'm paying all this money for tuition and I buy a parking pass. Well, I'm really irritated and I'm really agitated with uh, the colleges nowadays. The colleges, you know, profess to be in our corner. Well, I think that college education helps, you know, one third of the people that go there. But uh, one third of the people shouldn't even be going and another third of the people should never have gone. So remember this, if you start college, finish it, or you're wasting every bit of time and money to go to college, to go to secondary education, to go to college, if you spend a dime on college and you don't finish, you wasted it. Yeah, you're going to learn some things, but if you don't get a degree, you wasted it. So I'm, I'm there at college for a year, a year, I went there for a year and a half, two years maybe at the very most, and I'm struggling, I'm having a hard time, I'm paying for the tuition, I'm paying for the, the parking pass, you go up there with your my car, it was it was got bad gas mileage, and, I, and when you buy a parking pass, you can't even find a place to park up there. Weber State, Weber State College parking sucks. It's horrible. They, they are just, to me, they are just an institution that, that benefits about 25% of the people that actually go there. And they have a, a wonderful program called their police ticketing program. All they do, their, all their, all they, the way they make, a, I'll bet, a bunch of their money is they give out parking passes all the time, parking tickets all the time. So anyway, I get up there, I get a parking ticket. I pay it. A few months later, I get a parking ticket again because you can't find a damn parking spot up there. I get up there, I, I pay for the parking pass. I can't find a place to park. I park in a place close as I can. I get a parking ticket. And I don't pay it. I'm thinking, I'm not going to pay the stupid parking ticket. Anyway, so this is my story why I quit Weber State College. And uh, I get there and I go to sign up for a new semester. And they go, well, you have a parking path, you have a parking ticket here that you haven't paid for. You need to get your parking ticket paid for before we can give you your new registration. I thought, screw Weber State College, I'm done. That was the final straw that broke the camel's back. I stopped going to school at Weber State College. It was the best thing that I did in my life was stop going to college. I started my own, and I already had my own business going. I started my own roofing business and I just, I just flourished it with my roofing business. I loved it. It was wonderful. It was tough, but, but I'm so glad that I stopped going to Weber State College. But the straw that broke the cam camel's back, the thing that bothered me the most, the reason why I quit, or the final reason why I quit was because of their stupid parking uh, system that they have up there. You can't find a parking spot and you get a parking ticket all the time. They, they just drive around and make a bunch of money with parking tickets. So when, I, when, I, when my son get okay, so I have another son and he, was, he went to, I think he went to Weber State, and then he went up to Utah State, spent several years. He's this close to getting his four-year degree. 
He's got one semester, maybe two semesters left. He goes up to Weber State College. He transfers to Weber State College. His name's Sean. In fact, I ran into a, to a, a lady that actually is one of the administrators at Weber State College. And we were, I was doing a project for her about, and I, she says, she says, oh, I says, oh, you're an administrator up there. I says, oh yeah, I went to Weber State College. I, well, I, I quit though. I ended up quitting and doing my own roofing business and really enjoyed it and doing my own, having my own work, my own business. And she's like, oh really? We're, we're trying to figure out why so many people quit up there. I says, well, I'll tell you why they quit because your stupid parking, parking pass program up there. People uh, buy a parking pass and they can't find a place to park. That's why I quit. And a lot of people quit because it's a joke. You go up to Weber State College, or any college for that matter, and they have you take the stupidest classes to get through college to get a job. Why don't they have classes that are specifically designed for welding, for roofing, for... Why do you have to take history to be a, a dental hygienist? Why do you have to take history or another class to do art. Uh, why do you have, I mean, it's just so stupid. It's just a money-making vacuum. It's this big funnel. College is this gigantic funnel that just, they have a great advertising program. They bring you in, they suck tons and tons of people out in, and very, very few are successful. Very few, once they get out of college, actually use their college degree to actually do something productive in life. I'm not saying they don't get educated, but if you don't if you start college, finish it and make sure that you you are going to like what you're going into. They should have more apprenticeships and journeymanships where they where it should be required that if you want to be a dental hygienist, you go watch a dental hygienist for at least a week or two as a volunteer, just help hand or tools or whatever. Or if you're going to be an engineer, you go sit with an engineer for a week or two and help him, you know, pour his cup of coffee or hot chocolate, whatever. If you're going to be an open heart surgeon, you should be able to go in and watch an open heart surgery. College education is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I, but, but don't let school get in the way of your education. I went and I talked to some successful people in Texas just here a couple weeks ago, and the guy says, don't let school get in your way of your education. In other words, Schools should be designed to generally educate us in high school and junior high, but college should be specifically designed for our specific... We should not take one hour of classes that doesn't pertain exactly to the, to the trade or the, or the job that we're going to do. And we shouldn't do anything in college before we actually observe observe the job that we are actually going to do before we spend two or three or four years or eight years becoming that and finding out we don't want it don't want to do that you know find you know go to be a teacher and then find out we don't like to teach go to be a doctor and decide we don't like blood go to be an engineer and decide we don't like uh, engineering go to be a, a surgeon and decide that we would prefer to be a to prefer to prefer to be a you know, uh, uh, you know, an, an artist or whatever the case may be. We should. You know, college is a business. The reason why colleges are so pushy and they have such a great public relations program is number one, yes, they do educate, but don't let, don't get, don't get your mind messed up to to thinking that you need to go to college for an education. You need to go get some. You need to go get educated in what you're going to do whatever that is, get an education that when that education is done, you can sell those skills to a company, a welding shop, a roofing shop, an engineering place. I've always told people I could be an open heart surgeon Surgeon, if I just sat with and I watched an open heart surgeon for one year, I guarantee you at the end of the year I could be an open heart surgeon. If I watched somebody do a, a dentist or a dental hygienist, if I watched them for a year, I guarantee you that I could practice and become that type of a person and I could do that type of work when I was done at the end of the year. Now, once again, Weber State College has a sucky parking situation. My son quit. He was that close to, to being able to get out of Weber State College 
to get his four-year degree. He got a parking ticket. He was so livid, he quit also. So Weber State has a problem. Colleges have a problem. They have a problem in the, in the sense that they're not educating us efficiently for the jobs that we're going to do. We need to take the responsibility to figure out what we're going to do, learn about it, shadow people that do that job, find out if we really want to do that job, and colleges need to have the have the 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 uh, the uh, honesty and the integrity to educate us for exactly what we want to do, and not waste our time and money. One third of the people don't get confused. Don't let school get in the way of your education. You want to be a tradesman? Go learn a trade. Go be a journeyman. You want to be a want to be something else? Go do something else. You want? I would suggest doing your own business, providing services. Um, do something that you love. There's, there's something you're passionate. Donald Trump talks about find something you're passionate about, and then and then become uh, create a business for that. Become wealthy doing what you love to do. The reason why I quit Weber State College is because their horrible parking policies and their foolish waste of time classes. The other reason why my son quit Weber State was they, he, was, he had, a, he had a, a, a one class left and they were talking about prejudice, about between blacks and whites and Mexican prejudice, how, how prejudice exists within our system. He's like, what the hell does this have to do with my education? Zero. So he quit. He quit because of a parking ticket. That was one issue. And that other, the final straw for him was they were teaching him about how there's prejudice in the job place. So what? What does that have to do with getting a degree? Anyway, it was a waste of time, so he quit. So all the thousands of dollars that he spent on an education, he wasted. And now he has a window cleaning service business and he makes a lot of money because he's good at what he does. He found a service that he likes to perform and he works for himself and he doesn't have to work for other people and he didn't need a college, a college degree or a college education to provide, to provide window cleaning services. He went on a Mormon mission, which actually helped him a lot. He has dealt with people. He, he's, he was an athlete, which helped him a lot to deal with his business. But once again, I'm going on quite a bit here, but in my opinion, college ed college education is a huge, uh, a huge problem. It's just it's just not it's not streamlined near enough.